In this video, we're going to introduce the idea of upthrust. Now, first of all, what on earth is upthrust? Now, think about the last time you dropped or you jumped into the swimming pool, right? You realize that even without doing much, you're not going to really sink to the bottom too easily. Yeah, you will probably actually float up near, near to the surface. And this upward force that you experience is basically upthrust. And um, so how does upthrust come about, actually? So um, if we look at something that's inside some water, okay, we know that pressure acts all around it. So there's some pressure here and there's some pressure here. And uh, let's call this length over here x, okay? Let's call this area here the cross-sectional area of this object, okay? And let's call this h. And so we have learned that the pressure at this point here, p top, is the density of the fluid times g times the depth, whereas the pressure right there, p bottom, equals to rho g h plus x. And hence, you see the pressure at the bottom is always greater than the pressure at the top. And this creates some net pressure, p net, which is simply p bottom minus p top. And you'll find that this piece gives you uh, rho g x. Now, that is the pressure difference. Now, what if I want to turn this into a tangible force? Now, remember that pressure equals the force over area. And so the force is simply equal to pressure times area. And so this net force that you experience due to the pressure difference is rho g x times the cross-sectional area. And x times a is the volume of the object. And so we call this force upthrust. Or let's call this F subscript u. And that is the formula for upthrust. Rho, density of fluid, times g times v the volume immersed in the fluid. And if we look very carefully at this, right, you will notice that rho times V gives you the mass of the immersed, uh, or rather the mass of the fluid that is being displaced by this object, right? Because if you place... Um, and solid object into a fluid, you know that it will push a volume of fluid exactly equal to its volume out, upwards. And so if you take that volume and you multiply it by the density of the fluid, that is the mass of fluid displaced. And so if I include the G now, it will become the weight of the fluid displaced. And then this now becomes what we call Archimedes' principle, which says that the upthrust on an object is equal to the weight of fluid displaced. 